In this demonstration I'm going to show you how to apply grouping to your pivot table and also how to change the way that Excel calculates the values. First thing I'm going to do is to switch the field list off and I'm going to do that by clicking the field list button on the options tab. That's just to give me more room to show you what I'm doing. When Excel creates a pivot table it arranges the row headings and column headings alphabetically. That may not suit you. For example here I want to arrange the offices by their geographical location. I have a number of offices in the United Kingdom, some more in Europe and the remaining ones are in the United States. And I'd like to show that on my pivot table. That means rearranging the order in which they appear and that's very easy to do. I need to select a row and move it to a different position. For example, the first of my UK offices, Birmingham, needs to move to the top. If I move my mouse pointer to the left hand end of the row, you can see that it changes to a black right facing arrow. Click here to select that row. Then move your mouse pointer to the black line that surrounds the selection until it changes to a four-headed arrow. Then you can drag the selection to the desired position. I've moved Birmingham to the top. My next UK office is Cardiff, followed by Edinburgh, London, and Manchester. The first of my European offices is already in the correct position, Amsterdam. Now I need to move Brussels underneath it, followed by Nice and Paris. and my US offices are already in the correct positions. Now to group them. Select the items that you want to place in a single group and on the Options tab choose Group Selection. It groups all the items regardless of whether or not they were selected but don't worry about that, we'll sort that out in a moment. Up here it's group the UK offices. It's called them group 1. I'll simply change that by over typing that cell to UK. Now I'll select all the European offices, choose group selection and over type where it says group 2 to Europe. And finally, the United States offices that I'll group and call USA. Notice that alongside each of the group headings, there's a button with a minus sign on it. That allows you to collapse that heading so that the data is hidden and the pivot table now shows a total for each region for each department. If you'd like to see the totals as well as seeing the individual pieces of data you can apply subtotals. Just expand the data again by clicking the plus sign Go to the Design tab and choose Subtotals and decide where you'd like to see them. Currently it's not showing subtotals. You can show them at the bottom of the group or at the top of the group and I'm going to choose to show them at the bottom. And there they are. The individual pieces of data for each department for each office and then a grand total for the UK. A grand total for Europe a grand total to the United States 
and then a grand total for everything. Now until now a sum of the salaries has been shown in the pivot table but supposing I wanted something different I might have wanted to know what the average salary was or maybe a count of how many people worked in each department in each office. Again it's very easy to change simply right click on any of the numbers go to value field settings and here you get the choices of sum, count, average and the various others that you'd expect supposing I want to see average salary it even changes the name here I'll just modify that a little bit and OK it's changed my heading up there I don't need to do that myself and all my data has changed to represent my new calculation when it does that you'll notice it does change the widths of the column again but as we did before that's very easy to change to get it just as you want it that concludes this demonstration